All right, we're live. Welcome to episode 38 of the Pro Go Baduk Weichi podcast. I am Xiao Dai, and we have again Gaza. G- Gaza, all right. Um, we, we're in a competition to, to sound less and less excited uh, at the beginning of every, every podcast. Um, Gaza, this is the end of the year. So I thought it would be a good idea to start with a little bit of a uh, nominations for, you know, the. the uh, uh, 2022 awards. Um, we might just, I want to, yeah, what what's this about me not sounding excited? Um, I'm not sure, mate. I'm 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 always excited. I uh, just it's just that I needed to, I need to be a little bit quieter uh, because I had to move, I had to move rooms. My sister is back from London, and uh, right, uh, I was rec- <laughs> I was I was doing the podcast in her room, yeah. Um, so I've had to change rooms and yeah, I need to be a little bit quieter because yeah, there are other people living in this, in this location with me. <laughs> uh, yeah. That might work out. That might work out. Uh, we have, uh, Eugene joining us. So that's, a, a, a reason to be excited. Um, so Gaza, shall we go through the nomination nominees that we came up with for, uh, the year 2022, but of course, uh, the listeners, or the readers of the Pro H E Reddit are more than welcome to put in their suggestions for categories and also their uh, nominate nominees. So let's let's start with this. Uh, the other categories, Gaza, that we thought up. Uh, start off with the obvious one: Player of the Year. Who are the nominees, Gaza? Yes. So oh our God. suggestions for nominees of Player of the Year. The first suggestion is Shin Jin So. He's a He's a Korean professional. You may have heard of him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, he won both of the world major finals that took place this year. Yeah. The LG Cup and the Samsung Cup. Yeah. Um, he also um, won, what was it, four games in the Nongshim Cup yeah. to help uh, Korea retain their title in that. Mm-hmm. Um, he also won the Kuksu Mountains International. Yep. And he's also won a few uh, domestic tournaments, including the uh, the GS Caltex Cup, the Yongseong. Um, what was what Maxim, was the other one Maxim, that he Maxim Cup? The Maxim Cup. He didn't. He didn't win the Maxim Cup. Oh, he didn't win the Maxim Cup. Um. Oh yeah, the Korea's strongest oh, uh, yeah. tournament. Yes, yeah. he won that one as well. Yeah. Um. And he also helped. Uh. What was it? Team Hangzhou win their Jar League. Yes. Um, and, and not to forget, he's won I believe twenty seven, twenty nine games across two Korean seasons now consecutively. Uh, yes, in the uh, Korean Baduk League. Unfortunately, yeah. his team didn't win the title, but he did win the MVP um, of the Baduk League. Yeah. And, yeah, he's also won some other awards this year. I think he was... I think he's either set or was cl- is close to setting the record for most money, prize money, won in a calendar year as yeah. well. Yeah, he almost beat Lee Sedo's record, uh, but... Maybe now he's he's just falling short of that. Maybe, yeah. So I'm not sure. Yeah, so I'm not sure if he has any more games yeah. this year. Um, not not to also. It's not uh, not to you know uh, put any <clears throat> you know negative light on on his achievement in the international tournament. I mean, you mentioned that the things that he's won, but he has also come second. Uh, oh no, not second. He also made a semi final of two two international majors. Uh yes, he made the semi final of the following. LG, LG Cup. Cup and also the Chunlan Cup and the Chunlan Cup, yes. So he's done pretty well in that one. So, yeah, no, no secret that Sinjin So has been uh, nominated, Kaza. Um, now, in the Chunlan Cup, in the semi final, the person who defeated Sinjin So was uh, Li Shun Hao, and he's also a nominee, Kaza. Now, yes, I could show you the, uh, the, the Li Shun Hao's rating on. Uh, Go ratings, um, just to show you what uh, you know what we're talking about. He's actually currently sitting at number four, uh, and that's a huge change from 
uh, maybe just from one year ago. I think he may be maybe down in the 20s or something. So look at his chart. His ratings chart is just going from 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 from. It's gone up a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess that you're going to say. Yeah. So um, this year he won the uh, Chujo Lanka domestic uh, tournament. Yep. In China. Mm. Uh, I think he also won the King of Kings. Yep. Um, he, as you said, he he beat Shinjin Zhou in the semi final of the Chunlang Cup. So he's made the final of the Chunlang Cup. Yep. Um, he also uh, made the Asian Games team. Yep. For for China. Yep. Um, yeah, and he's also won. I think he's only lost one game so far in the Jar League. I think he's won eleven out of twelve, or maybe twelve out of thirteen. Mm. Um, so he's having a super strong. Uh, Jar League tournament. Yep, hundred percent. I mean, yeah, Jar Jar League uh, performance. Yeah, so yeah, he's definitely been um, China's strongest player this year. Yep. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he's he's got the attention of us and also many of China's uh, professionals. Yeah, and we'll probably talk about this a bit later. But the fact that Li Xunhao has won his first domestic title, being the Lanka Chu. Uh, Chujo Lanka Cup this year, uh, and also the fact that he's right, risen up the rankings so fast, is perhaps one of the reasons why he's been accused of uh, cheating with AI openly. But that's a totally different story. Now, Gaza, we do have another question asking why isn't Choi Jong on the list? Um, well, we could put Choi Jong on the list for sure. Maybe, um, maybe we should. Maybe we should just do do it like right here. Now, Gaza, okay. I, I made this. I made this wiki page so that um, it's you have to be have a certain number of reputation before you can even edit it. So, and it's set quite high. So it's about you need about twenty thousand points of reputation or whatever that that points is called on, on on Reddit. So, um, but yeah, you feel free to go to Pro Wei Reddit, go click on wiki, and you should be able to find the link to the nominees for twenty twenty two, and you can edit it there. So about it, Choi Jong, that's a good question. Yep. <clears throat> so, guys, so yeah, shall, we, shall we actually talk about Choi Jong? Unless you have anything to, else to say about Lee Shun Hao? No, no. Let's talk about Choi Jong. Choi Jong. Yep. So, Choi Jong. Obviously, she made the uh, final of the Samsung Cup. Yep. Um, outstanding performance there. Yep. Um, she won the women's Kisung. Yep. Uh, recently. Mm. Um. The I think the final of the the uh, let me see the Korea Women's Strongest uh, League did, did the final happen earlier this year I think it did yeah um let me just uh, see um yeah well yes the final happened in January um so she won yeah. that tournament in January um she beat Oh Jin. Mm -hmm. um yeah so obviously i mean the 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 big performance for her was making the final of the samsung cup yep um and, and, and she's she's the first woman to ever make the final of an international major mm, yeah she oh yeah she also won the women's the women's kuksu um yep. in november she beat kim hyo min mm. so i think she's won um three titles this year yeah uh in women's competition, so and how how did her team do in the Korean league? Well, she she I think she she uh, got the equal most wins, so yeah. she got an award in the Korean league for time for the most wins. Yeah, um, I think that was along with Cho Shonga. Yeah, um, obviously, just like Shin Jin So didn't win the Korean league, Choi Jong didn't win the Korean women's league. Yeah, Choi Jong's team. But yeah, even crazier is that Choi Jong's team didn't even make the playoffs. Mm. Um, obviously, that was not uh, due to not really because of Choi Jong's poor performance, but mainly maybe her teammates um, didn't do so well. Mm. Um, also, she's made the final of um, this current um, yep. Korean Women's Strongest. Yep. So she'll be looking to try and keep her title there. Yep. 
Um, but yeah, really good um, year yet again for Choi Jong. Three titles and making an international final, which is unprecedented for women. Yep, awesome. Now, to- keep, keeping our a train of thought on women uh, players, we got Yuano Asami, and she's achieved quite a lot this year, hasn't she? Yeah, so she won um, Senko Cup, the international Senko Cup. Yep, uh, first time a Japanese player has won um, a women's world major. Yep. Um, she also had a fantastic performance in the Hoban Cup, another international tournament, but it's yep. like the um, women's version of the Nongshim Cup. Yep, that was that was awesome. Yep. Um, continuing on her great performances she she also won their young cup tournament uh, she she retained her title in the young cup tournament which is um it's sort of like a youth tournament but it's men and women yeah it's, it's difficult to call that youth wouldn't you have to be like um uh, below 30 yeah something like that but yeah. she um but she she um did beat some very strong players like irata tomoya and koike yoshihiro yep um, on her way to that. And she also won the Azu Central Hospital Cup. Yep, against yeah, Fujisawa Arena. Yeah, she took that title off uh, Fujisawa Arena. And um, what else? Oh, and uh, it, at the beginning of the year, she won the um, Women's Kise. Right. Um, against uh, Suzuki... Ayumi. So she's won, just like Choi Jong, she has, well, she's actually won four titles. Yeah. Um, and she's had a bit of variety. She's won a women's international. She's won um, a mixed gender domestic title. Um, she's And she's won two women's domestic titles. So, yeah, definitely her, I think that this is her best year and she's really um, challenging Um. Fujisawa Arena for, you know, number one women's player in Japan. Yep. Um, now, yeah. let's move on to the uh, the Taiwan, uh, where we talk, we're talking about Xu Hao Hong, the star of the island. Yeah, yeah. Xu Hao Hong, um, domestically, he's just, he's been insanely impressive in Taiwan. He seems to be almost unbeatable. Um, he... He apparently he holds um, uh, eight of the nine big titles yeah. in Taiwan now. Crazy. Yeah. Um, one of them I think is held every two years, hmm. but the other ones um, are held every year. So he's won. He won seven titles th- just this year, I believe. Yeah. Which is um, crazy. So, yeah, and yeah, that's. Yeah, quite crazy, and like that. It's a mix of um, title holder, challenger tournaments, mm. and knockout tournaments. Yeah, and uh, also a mix of slow competition, fast competition, and mm. yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone in Taiwan can um, can match him. He's, yeah. yeah, I mean, he's clearly he's number one in Taiwan, even though his record in the Jalik this year hasn't been great. He's got a zero for four record, but uh, in, in news that we might just talk about. Uh, he's 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 uh, he's playing in the Korean league as well, so we shall see how he's done in that one. <clears throat> so yep, so 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 far these five players are our nominees. So if you have any other nomination, please add them uh, in the chat if you like, uh, or on the uh, Reddit just post it uh, in the this wiki. Now, mm-hmm. Gaza, shall we move on to talking about game of the year? Uh, yep. Yeah. So um. Uh, we haven't provided the Kifus for this yet. Um, yeah. We we will eventually do it. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you want to, if you want to, con- if you want to, you know, consider them, you 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 probably want to look at the actual games themselves. Yeah. Um, but uh, the the first the the first game that that came to my mind was the Hinimbo game one. Mm-hmm. And I believe we discussed this in a podcast. It's between um, Ichiriki Ryu and Ayama Yuta. And it was a very, uh, you know, very exciting game. Definitely. That I think ended up being a half a point yeah. result. Yeah. 
Um, and there were a, a, like lots of pro fights or some crazy fighting. Uh, so it was a very exciting game to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah crazy co fights and big sacrifices as well. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah. the next the next game, um, the next two games are actually between the same people. Yeah. In the same in the same tournament, although different seasons. Different seasons. Uh, yeah. the, the first one's the uh, this year's LG Cup final game one. Yeah. A bit between uh, Yang Dingjin and Shin Jinso. And this yeah. was a game where Yang Dingjin seemed to play flawlessly yeah. um, until he got into Buyomi. Yeah. And Shin Jinso just somehow managed to make a crazy complication. Yeah. Um, which ended up, yeah, which ended up completely reversing the game. Just absolute magic. Magic. And and I, I remember the game was where Yang Dingxin, when when uh, Shin Jinso played a very aggressive probe, uh, Yang Dingxin could actually give up a huge tail of his group and and would still be winning. Uh, so, so Yang Dingxin just had this brain explosion where he decided to, you know, try to save everything, uh, but ended up losing the game. So yeah, that didn't work out well for Yang. But yeah. but then but then in the semi final of the very next LG Cup, uh, Yang Dingxin had exactly his revenge, and that was an exciting game as well. Yeah, that one was an exciting game. It was. It was high actually. Quality. Yeah, it was actually. It was a really high quality game by both players, and it, it's. Yeah, it's it's such a complex game that it's hard to see where exactly Shinjin So went wrong, and you know some pros have have even suggested that um, Yang Dingjin played better than the AI, mm. um, or yeah, the the AI the AI, the. It's the AI doesn't really give the full picture, right? Um, of that game because it's so complicated, it's so crazy. But Yang Dingxin played phenomenally well in that game, and in terms of game quality, that it's it's got to be up there. Yeah, um, yeah, one hundred percent. And and even even just yesterday, there's new videos being released about that game, so it's really talked about. Um, so now and, on to the and this last one is actually one that we never discussed, but right. um. Uh, a friend of mine who who is actually a professional mm. um, did mention mention this game. Uh, he pointed out this game as as a really interesting one. So uh, this was in the Kisei League, um, Murakawa Daisuke versus Iyama Yuda, and I believe that um, Iyama had to win this game to have a chance of 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 um, finishing top two. Yeah. In the league, um, yeah. this was I think this was the second last game. Yeah. Of for both of these players. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, it ended up this one I think this one was similar to the Honinbo game in that there was some there was some really big sacrifices and um Yeah. It, I don't think you've I don't think you've actually seen this game yet, so maybe you should Right. Maybe you should have a look. But I, I we will we will put the Kifu um yeah. later on before before we put the polls up. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably put the polls up on uh, you know early on in the new year. Um, yeah. So, so Gaza, let's now move on to the next category: disappointment of the year. Yeah, you may want to refresh this because I've I've edited this. Um, All right, let me refresh that. Yeah. Um, so while that's refreshing, so let's see what's happening. Disappointment of the year. So we got um, Ding Hao. Oh, okay, one, so one you, okay, it hasn't changed. All right, so yeah, so you want to do you want to talk about the first couple? Yeah, now we've got, we've got Ding Hao going one for eight in Asian game qualifiers, um, followed by a first round exit at Lanko Cup. Now, to, just to preface this, if you recall, what ha- what's happening was that Ding Hao has gone rocketed up the Chinese rankings. He went as high as number two, and in the previous year, he's won three domestic titles. So he's he's like one of the major uh, players in in China. But all of a sudden, when it came to Asian game qualifiers, he's gone one out of eight. And just to put it in context, that would put him dead last. Uh, need, need, needless to say, he didn't make the Asian Games quali- Asian Games team for China. And what's what's worse was that, uh, well, not necessarily worse, but then he followed that up by uh, another first round exit of the Lanka Cup. So he, he went from second to, I believe, seven in the rankings. But recently he's had a little bit of a resurgence. Uh, he's gone, he's made the final of the uh, LG Cup. So yeah, so but definitely uh, it's a big disappointment for Ding Hao to be doing so poorly. Uh, well, continue on that on that vein. 
on on that kind of thought. We got Wen Son Jin. Uh, I think he he did pretty poorly in the Korean League final, going zero for six. And yeah, and this was in the in the previous season in the Korean League. He he won all of his games. Yeah, yeah. So, um, for for him to to go, you know. And then, and then the yeah the next season in the final, yeah. um, when they need him to to win games, he he loses every every one of his games in all of his in each match. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and and in 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 the most recent uh, Korean League, which has which is a new season twenty two twenty three, which has just started, he's already won two games in one round. Um, so. Uh, no, he's, he's lost one game in and won one game. So he's got a 50-50 start to this year's Korean League. So let's see what happens to Wen Song Jin. So uh, the next one, I, it's, it's written here as Liu Rage's cheating incident. Uh, and that happened in the Changchi Cup. And Well, this yeah, this one I've actually moved to a different category. Right, you have moved it. Um, um, so we can we can talk about that one later. Perhaps, perhaps you need to press save or something because um, when I refresh, it's still there. But anyway... Uh, Okay, we can talk about it in, in another category. Um, so where were we? We were here. Um, and then we got disappointments, which is, I guess, a bunch of disappointments, which is the Asian Games being postponed. At one point, the Gosei Gun Cup was postponed as well, but they kind of quickly brought it back because uh, one of the participants was uh, you know, heavily pregnant, so they had to just finish that game off. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, and then uh, I got the M. Lily Cup, Chijo Lanka Cup, uh, they were postponed. I think one memory really cup might be scheduled to start in January, but uh, I believe it was. Uh, so maybe that's. But it, the postponement was announced this year, so. Right, yeah. Um, it still and, counts. Yeah, it counts. And then we've got Tianfu Cup and Bailing Cup. I do believe that, you know, even though we had hopes that it might continue, uh, they have now been confirmed to be discontinued, unfortunately. Yeah, the, the Bailing Cup, I think the last time that was held was, well, the final was in, what was it, 2018? Oh, wow. Crazy. And um, the no, but what's crazy about the Biling Cup is that um, the wait, let me let me yes, it was uh, January twenty eighteen, right? Or no, twenty sorry, January twenty nineteen, I think actually, right? Yeah, January twenty nineteen. But the crazy thing is that um, Zhu Hao Hong actually qualified for the next edition of the Biling Cup, which has now been confirmed to yeah. be cancelled. Yeah, well, sucks. Sucks to be him again. Yeah, they, like they actually had qualifiers yeah. from in ta Taiwanese qualifiers, but yeah. yeah, he won't get to compete in that. Yeah, um, and I, I guess the good news is that Chujo Lanka Cup has been has been uh, started as the first ever annual international major by China uh, or sponsored by a Chinese uh, or have links to to the Chinese. Go way she seen, and of course the Emily League Cup is continuing, uh, and then of course the another one is no news yet on the In Cup final. Uh, yeah, people Shaker people sometimes we we have had these questions before. Like, um, I can't find you know people are saying, oh, I can't find the results of the In Cup final. I know it was I know it's Shinjin So versus Shukur, but I, yeah. I when did when did it, when did it happen and who won? <laughs> yeah. um, and the answer is that not it, it hasn't happened yet, and yes. it still hasn't actually been scheduled. No, uh, we're coming up on two years now since the semi-finals were played. Yeah, and they still haven't actually stated when they plan to hold the final. Yeah, no, um, I, I think I think it's the In uh, Foundation. They they they're insisting on playing having the games played face to face. So that's that's obviously causing issues with the COVID situation in China and the restrictions. So let's see what's going to happen. Um, mm. And uh, I think people have skipped ahead and and uh, looked at the upset of the year, and they were asking question: Why is Yang Dingxin beating Xin Jinzhou in the LG Cup semi considered an upset? Uh, good question. Um, I guess anyone can lose to Yang Dingxin for sure, uh, but of course Xin Jinzhou was so much on the up 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 and up that he looked invincible for a time so and, uh, i guess I... you could say i guess you could say apparently shinjin so had won his last 24 games against chinese players in right. in world majors yeah and, and what a, what a way it is to be stopped um 
by Ying Dingxin. So, uh, just putting yeah. it up there. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, you're the one that put it in there. I wouldn't have put it. I wouldn't have put it as a nomination all right. personally. Yeah. But um, if if you don't if you don't think it's an upset, you can just not vote for it. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and uh, of course, we we have the Yano you, Asami winning the Senko Cup. Um, yeah, I would say that. I would definitely say that was an upset. Um, right. You've got Yu Ji Ying from China and Choi Jong from Korea. Yeah. Um, you know the I both believe... of them. Are, you ha- you would have to say it yeah. at the beginning of the year. You you b- both of them. You you would have to say a, a tier were a tier above. You know Asami. And, and uh, let's not forget uh, Joe Hong Yu. Well, Joe Hong Yu wasn't in the Senko Cup. There's only one representative from China. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, there's only one representative from China, Taiwan, and um, Korea. Yeah. But perhaps, perhaps even bigger upset was Yu Lu Hua making the final as well. Yeah. Um, Yu Zhi Ying and um, Choi Jong both lost in the first round of of um, that tournament. So, yeah, it was it was just a crazy tournament all around. Yeah, uh, it, it was. Uh, yeah, it was. It was a very good win for Japan. Uh, it was the it was the you know the uh, <coughs> uh, the push or the the added fuel that they needed. Um, yes. Uh, and uh, and also another one is upset the Sada Sushi versus Miyu Ting in LG Cup. Oh, it's not LG Cup. I believe it's Chunlan Cup. Um, uh, yeah, that one was the Chunlan I think that Cup. was the Chunlan Cup. Yeah, yes, Chunlan Cup first one. round. Yeah, I'll, so. I'll edit it later. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I that mean, one. Yeah, that one. Me, you, Ting just got out. Just got out red. Yeah, he, in he a, made a, a bad misread. Yeah, um, a local situation, and that that was it. Yeah. Uh, of course, no, no disrespect to Sada. He, I, he is actually a very strong player, but um, he also lost to Cho Jong in the uh out in the Samsung Cup. So um, yeah, he, he, I mean, um, beating me, you, Ting is is tough. Um, so Sada actually beating me, you, Ting. If you just look at the ratings point, it's it's a fairly Decent, uh, yeah, decent. but but also look at the game. It's it's yeah. it's just a meeting just got annihilated. Yeah, and we have um, comments uh, in, saying that a Choi Chong versus Byung Sang Yeo was a huge upset. Um, well, you know what? That's actually we do have we do have that mentioned in two other categories actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, in in the same vein, I guess you would have to say Choi Chong beating Ichiki was an upset. Choi Chong beating Yang Dingxin was an upset. Choi Chong beating Byung Sang was an upset. I was hoping for an upset in the final. Uh, maybe it could have happened in one of the games, but uh, it didn't happen. But no, to be, uh, yeah, but um, yeah, and then um, you've got Wang Jinghao beating Chin Jin So in um, some online tournament. Yeah, uh, it's a big, it's a big money tournament. It's uh, TWT might be just ten cent. Uh, I don't know some some tournament that they have online. It's a big money. I think the prize money I believe is about five hundred thousand renminbi. So that would be actually equivalent to a one of the minor, you know, seven majors in Japan or, or domestic in in uh, Korea. So it's a big money. On no, the it, that would be that would be more than a domestic title in right, Korea. Right. That'd be about fifty percent, fifty percent more, one and a half domestic titles <laughs> here, in Korea. Here, yeah, so that's a that's a that's a huge tournament. Even though it's not an official tournament. Yeah, no, still, they, yeah, they're, they're not money. official games. Yeah, um, it's, it's an online tournament. But yeah, yeah. Wang Jinghao did win that one, and and that yeah. was one of the reasons why. Along with the Globus Cup, why I'm so I've uh, got so much hope for Wang Jinghao. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people around the world and in China as well are really looking to Wang Jinghao uh, as the you know the next superstar to come out of China. But maybe he he isn't isn't that. But let let's see. Uh, and then we have uh, we discussed this already. So uh, I don't know if there's any other nominees for upset of the year. Um, we could see. Um, yeah. Now I, I think uh we'll, we'll let's look at about the the rising star uh category. Now Gaza we talked about Wang Xinghao. He's done quite well this year. Yeah, so he won the Globus Cup again, second yeah. second year in a row. No one's no one's ever won two Globus Cups. So yeah, nice. um, that's a new thing. He's won. I think he won the China's Rookie King. Mm. Yes, he, he's, um, he's done that uh, over Zhou yeah. Hongyu two zero. That's pretty good. Yes, uh, I think he was runner up in the Ni Wei Ping Cup. Yep, which is basically was he runner up or did he beat? I think he was runner up to Tu Zhou Yu. 
Right, right, right. Oh, so he didn't play uh, for Quokka in the final. Uh, I can't remember. No, he played. No, that was the Globus Cup. Ah, okay, cool. Right, I'm he won the Globus Cup, but he lost in the Niwei Ping Cup, which is ah, okay, yeah, basically the China's equivalent of the Globus Cup. Yeah, okay, I might have gotten them mixed up. Um, okay, yeah. So yeah, so he and and also very importantly, like given yeah. there's a COVID situation, that Wang Xinghao has made the top thirty-two of the Chinese rankings. Yeah, uh, he's also having a solid jar league. Yep, uh, uh, decent, definitely. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, hopefully, he will play in a world major. Yep. Um, or so. uh, yeah, yes, that's that's true. He hasn't had the chance to even participate in one yet. So yes, it's it's just too tough in, from the Chinese system. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, next rising star nominee Kim Yoon Ji. I think uh, yeah, it goes without saying she she returned um, to professional go in November last year mm. after um, being suspended for a year for cheating. Yep. With AI, yep. Um, it was a quite a well known incident at yep. the time. Yep. Um, but yeah, since then she's certainly trying to make up for lost time. Yeah. Um, she started the year, I believe, as a two dan, and she's right. now gotten up to five dan. Yeah, very nice. Um, she's she's won she's won two tournaments. Yep. Um, the Hans Seohyun Cup. Yep. And the a, another another tournament for young women. Mm. Um, and she also made the final of the women's uh, key song, I believe. Yes, yes. Um, um, yeah. Not. What else did she? We 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 we're gonna highlight her achievements in the when we talk about the Korean awards uh, a bit later on in the podcast as yes. well. Um, but she's she's broken some records now. One thing I do want to mention is that it's very clear to everyone that uh, Choi Jong is the number one player in uh, Korea. And many would argue that Kim Eun Ji is maybe second or third, uh, but Kim has not yet won a game against Troy yet, and it's not for lack of trying. She's had eight tries at it, eight goes at it, and she still hasn't achieved a win versus Choi Jong. So I think the first time she she wins against Choi Jong would be a very big uh, turning point in her career. I do believe so. Ah, uh, yeah, that is true. That she has yet to win a single game against Choi Jong. Yes, and of course. Last but not least, Kevin Yang. He's he's done. He's caught people's eyes this year. Yeah, Kevin Yang is. He started this year, so he's a North American player. Yep. He started this year as an amateur, actually. Yep. And he won a spot in the North American Pro Qualifier. Right. And he before um, in like on on either side of turning pro, he participated in the European. I mean the transatlantic cup league league uh, transatlantic the, league the second um, transatlantic league yes involving um, Europe mm. um, and yeah he made some he made waves there um, mm. beating many players including Ilya Shikshin yep the number one player in Europe yep um, and and ended up making the final of yep. that tournament um, yep. um, Falling to Ryan Lee in yeah. the final. Yeah. Now, but along along with that, he also participated in the Globus Cup and ended yeah. up making the quarterfinals. Yeah. And he beat two Japanese pros, I believe. In that yes, game. he did. He did beat two Japanese pros in that tournament. Um, yeah. So, mm. and 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 not only that, he also, I believe, qualified for the Chujo Lanka Cup. Yeah. Yes. So pretty cool. Above, pretty, above pretty crazy Ryan Lee. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's going to be participating in his first world major. Well, yeah. it should have been this year, but it will, it will be next year. Yeah. And not to forget, there was a China US uh, uh, showdown challenge where Kevin Yang and Alex Chi from the, uh, representing the US, uh, or should I say, representing the North America, have participated. And China also sent two of their showdowns. And China sent their number two. In the men's qualifying group uh, for this year, because uh, the number one was over sixteen, so it didn't qualify for this tournament. And they also sent the women's groups number two. So China sent two strong players, and uh, they lost to Kevin Yang and Alex G. And Kevin Yang beat Alex G in the final. So Kevin Yang actually ended up winning that invitational. 
and just to add more info to this uh, Peng Chuan which I, I, I can't remember if I've actually mentioned him in the last podcast he he was he came out very critical of uh, Yang Dingxin's accusation of Li Xuan, uh, Li Xuan House uh, of cheating so he's very critical of Yang Dingxin but at the end of it he or he went on to say that the top US players he's probably referring to Kevin Yang are basically now equivalent to a top class Chinese player but maybe just not super top class so basically he's saying that the US players are actually quite competitive and that you know if if a Chinese player were to lose to a US player uh, are they gonna uh, you know cry you know just like what Yang Dingxin is doing or, or whatever but um but this goes to show that how strong the US has has really become with the new generation of players like uh, Kevin Yang um, so he's uh, I definitely think he deserves his spot in the rising star category and hopefully US will continue to get a spot in the international tournament and show what they can do in those tournaments versus the uh, top players of Asia now Gaza shall we move on to uh, the next category achievement of the year yeah so this one's a bit this one's probably uh, you know another another one that that people are, are key are interested in so so yeah. basically the strong performances in um individual sort of tournaments or leagues or something mm. so i mean the first one is ichiriki winning the kisei yeah so oh, this is Utah. Yeah, from Ayama Yuta. So Ayama had the Kisei for nine straight years. Yeah. Um, and Ichiriki, he, he, he'd won a couple of the majors in Japan, but never one of the big three, no, the, yeah. which is the Honinbo Majin and Kisei. Yeah. I believe he challenged for the, the Majin. Mm. Um, and he had challenged for the Kisei in the past. Right. Um, in, on, in both occasions, he was unsuccessful. Um, but this year he challenged for the Kisei and um, it took him seven games. Uh, well, he was leading 3-1 mm. after four games. Then Ayama won games five and six. And some people were suggesting, well, Ayama's clearly in form now. Mm. Um, so it's going to be hard for Ichiriki. Yeah. Um, but no, but I- Ichiriki did end up prevailing and winning game seven. And yeah, this is a, a big breakthrough in, in his career. Yeah, so yeah, well done for Ichiki. Uh, that's that's the first time he's won uh, one of the big three from Yama Yuta. Yeah, and um, it's a huge, it's a huge prize as well. It's like yeah, uh, what uh, 40, 40, 43 45 million. million yen or something. I believe. Yeah, I think it's either forty five or forty three. I think they dropped two million. Um, one of them, but yeah, it was a, it's a big, it's definitely the biggest prize money in a Japanese tournament, domestic. Yeah. 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 And next up, we have um, Shinjin So winning the LG Cup. Now that was against um, Yang Dingjin. Yang Dingjin, and yeah, that was. We already game one was is already. We already consider it one of the games of the year. Yeah. Um, just an, an crazy, crazy magical game. Game two wasn't that shabby either. No. Um, but overall, it was obviously the actually the. Only the final was played this year in 2022. All of the previous games were played in 2021. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, it, it, and that included a very um, impressive performance against uh, Kerje in the in the semifinal. In the semifinal, yeah. yeah. But yeah, even just the even just the fi- the two games in the final is um, they were pretty crazy, pretty impressive, and yeah, yeah, just the another title for Shinjin So. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and then uh, we got Shinjin So. We got uh, Shinjin So again, and this one, this one's, yeah, this one's real crazy. This was the Nongshim Cup. Now, the the Nongshim Cup, like the LG Cup, is played across calendar years. Yep. And in in twenty twenty one, we had a Yama um, winning four games for Japan. Yep. Um, and that guaranteed Japan a place in the final. Yeah, um, and it also meant that Shinjin So was the last player left for Korea, so he had yeah. to win. He had to win four games in order for Korea to win the Nongshim Cup. Yeah, um, and it started off with it started off quite disastrously. He was um, 
he was well behind uh, in the beginning against Miyu Ting. He got out red. Yeah. Um, but he um, he fought hard like he always does and, yeah. and managed to complicate things. And just yeah. just when the game seemed to be um, turning in his favor, turning interesting, turning yeah. really interesting, um, yeah. there was a technical issue and Miyu Ting. Um. Um, me Ting's move didn't register and he ran out of time. Yeah. Um, because of the technical issue, they replayed the game the next day yeah. from from like they played a new game. Shinjin So won that. Then he beat Yu Zheng Chi. Yeah. Then he once again um, defeated his nemesis Kerje yet again. Um, yeah. It's such such a dominating performance that Kerje was was um, complaining about him playing too much like AI. Yeah, Kerj yeah. Kerj in, in his usual passive aggressive manner stated that Shinjin So played like AI. Yeah. Um both both as a compliment and an accusation. Yeah. Um and then um he defeated Ichiriki Ryo in the final game to to yet again to save Korea from embarrassment. Or, and yeah. And win the Nongshim Cup and and that's actually his ninth straight Nongshim Cup. Yeah, win because um, in, the, in the last one he he also cleaned up with five wins. Yeah, so that's crazy. Um, so yeah, he's he's got a bit of a, a you know Lee Chang Ho at, at its prime feel to him after this Nongshin Cup. So yeah. yeah, and of course staying on the Sin Jin So train, we have his uh, which I've already talked about his his uh, performance in the Korean Baduk League. Yeah, so yeah, Shinjin So's had a few achievements. So, and yet again, the league, just like the Nongshim Cup and the LG Cup, is played across calendar years, although most hmm. most of the league happened in 2022. Yeah. And in this league, um, like we said the previous season, Wong Song Jin won every game. Well, yeah. this season, Shinjin So decided to copy his teammate yeah. and win every game. But every game. because um, his teammates didn't do so, didn't do as well. They started at the very bottom of right. the postseason, so he had to play more postseason games. Yeah, and he won all of those as well. He ended up winning twenty-seven games. Yeah, in the season without, it, yeah, and no losses. Yeah, and uh, just like to to have a player that's a guaranteed win every every game is, yeah. you know, invaluable and. That's it's, crazy. it's just it's, it's just insane that that yeah. something like that could happen yeah and we've got a question about has Sinjin so had better years I guess it, it depends on how you look at it because I do believe that Sinjin so's win rate in 2021 have broken a, a, the record uh, held that was, by, it was actually in 2020 oh 2020 have broken the record held by Li Chang Ho uh, I think his win rate was above 88 percent I I think this year I think I don't remember his win rate I don't think it was that high it's just below 80%. Uh, his win rate is is below 88. It's maybe 85%. Yeah, this yeah. Year. So, I mean, it's still crazily high. Uh, but but yeah. win rate doesn't tell the whole story. In Lee Chang Ho's record year, yeah. he was actually, he was mostly playing, he didn't win a single title in right. the year that he broke the, um, that he set the record for right. win rate. Right, right, right. Um, so... You know, it, it doesn't tell. It doesn't tell the whole story, and that wasn't Lee Chang Ho's best year, right? Because he didn't win any titles, and he was really just getting started in his yeah. professional career. Yeah, maybe he was just playing in prelims, bidding, you know, easier. Yeah, yeah, a lot, yeah. Of, a lot of prelims, and he wasn't playing the top players most right. of the time. I would, I would say, I would say it's it's hard to compare Shinjin So's 2020, mm. 2021, and twenty twenty two. Yeah, um, they all of those would be world-class years for any any player 100 percent, yeah um yeah I, I i don't think i don't really think that there's any point comparing them and, and trying to find which one's the best yeah, yeah yeah um and of course we we have we're staying in korea but uh we of course we have talked about this so much in this podcast Choi jong making the samsung cup final Crazy yeah stuff. interestingly we didn't put shinjin so winning the samsung cup as an achievement but because yeah. Because really, um, Choi Jong stole the show <laughs> yeah. in this tournament. Uh, she was, mm. yeah, she was making headlines. Um, yeah, um, yeah, and also making history. She, you know, people were posting how you know she was. I think she was the third woman, third woman to make a quarterfinal. Yep. 
Um, then she was the second woman after Roy Narway to make a semi-final. And then yeah. she ended up becoming the first woman ever in history yeah. to make a world major final. Yeah. And, you know, she, she was beating world-class players. She, um, yeah. she was beating, she beat Sada at sushi. Yeah. Um, Ichiki Ryo. Ichiki Ryo, who was, who, who had already won the Kisei. Yeah. And was having a great year himself. Yeah. She beat Yang Dingjin. Yeah. Um, who has always been consistently top five in China. 100%. And yeah. then, and then she beat, um, Korea's number two, Byun Sang Il. Byun Sang Il, yeah. In the semifinal. Just like, that is not a shabby, like yeah. she didn't get lucky in <laughs> in um in the matchups. Yeah. She was she was playing tough players and she was winning all the time. Um she only fell short of, you know, basically someone who like she, someone who not only is the best player in the world but was also um determined to to win this tournament. And yeah. It was only it was only when when she came up against the unstoppable force in Shinjin so that she finally um stopped but yeah she she really stole the show in in that tournament and um yeah yeah it's i don't, i i think it, it's still hard to believe that that she's a, that she achieved this yeah yeah, yeah. i i hope do hope to see a, a woman winning an international major at some point so things to look forward to um, and mm. then we have we talked about this already uh shu hao hong winning seven titles this year in taiwan alone and holding all but one title in Taiwan, crazy stuff. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure if this should go in the achievement of the year because it's not really a single event. Right. It's a little bit different to the other ones, but mm. um, yeah. I mean, I like we do want to recognize mm. Zhu Hao Hong's prowess in the domestic scene. Like it's even like this is sort of like the equivalent of, where, of when Ayama was winning all the domestic titles. Yeah. Or last year when you know Shin Jin So won all of Korea's domestic titles. Yeah. Um yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah. And then we got uh uh the, my my favorite category which is bad moves of the year. Um some of them I don't even remember but I do believe there was some kind of ladder that uh uh what Hu Xiaohun failed to see. Oh no, that, that, that's that's not it. That's not it. I can't remember what the bad move was in this one. Um I well, you're know. the one that put this. You're the one that put this in the nomination. Uh, I, so I have to look at the key for to remember it. But you're I gonna have to. You're gonna have to yeah, find it. Yeah, I think there was some kind of titling, self titling liberty or something. I, I I really can't remember this one. Yeah, but um, something something strange has happened. I have to look it up. But what about Han Seung Ju's Korea League postseason? Yep. Um, I've, I've got a video. That. Wait. Yeah. Oh, where did I put the video? Uh, I've got uh, wait, there, there was a there's a video video of it. I think it was it was shared on uh, uh, on the Paduk subreddit and also probably yeah. Probably no, there is a video of it. Yeah. Um. It was just oh yeah. Funny. So I, I'll, I'll we'll we'll post the video when yeah. um when before we before we make the polls. But yeah, yeah. I I can I can share it with you. But basically, what happened was um. He, uh, first he allowed a co yeah um in a game where it was it was a game where he was leading and all he needed to do was make one of his groups alive yeah and there was nothing his opponent could have done and also for context he needed to win this game for team t his team was team Thai gem in the Korean league mm -hmm. he needed to win this game for, otherwise his team would be eliminated from the postseason yeah so this was a must win game and he was he was winning and it was just about Yose. Yeah. Yeah, it was in the end game. All he needed to do was make his one group alive. Yeah. And um he would have won the game. There was nothing else he could have done that, that they could have done. The white Yeah, so the the white group in the upper right, all he needed to do was make that alive. So first he ignored it, mm. which allowed the possibility for black to make a co. Throw in, make a co, yeah. Yeah. Then he ignored it once more, and that allowed a double co. Yeah, which meant that his uh, group is unconditionally dead. Yeah, which is yeah, a double co is unconditionally dead. There, now there's there's absolutely so you see nothing. see how the how the AI went from three point eight yeah. to fourteen. Yeah, that's because his group. Yeah, that's because his group's completely dead now. It allows dead. a double co, and there's yeah. no way for white to win both co's. 
and now he's realized yeah. that. Yeah, there's there's no yeah there's no way for white to win both co's. Yeah. Um, even if because yeah, when white take this co, black can throw in now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just, so, <laughs> so yeah. So white yeah white resigns after like three more moves here. It's yeah. He, he goes from he goes from a simple win to yeah. unconditionally lost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um not, not. and. Like that, yeah. I, 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 that was the when I was thinking of nominees for the bad move of the year. This was yeah. the first game that came to my mind. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's definitely definitely a worthy nominee in that category. Um, and then we also have Choi Jong's first round Korean Badu League. I think we had a uh, we had talked about this in the podcast, but basically um, Choi Jong just failed to see um, like a how. There's like her, her groups are really tight on Liberty. Yeah, this was against Kim Su Jin. Yeah, um, and she could have she could have won this game, um, but um, she just failed to notice the. the yeah, this Liberty. was yeah it was in Buryomi. She um yeah she had a Tesuji that she could have played yeah um to to allow one of her groups to run out. Oh no, yeah. I think it was to ki- to kill one of to Kim Su Jin's yeah. groups. Yeah, but she missed it. Yeah, yeah, so. missed it. I'm talking about missed it. Uh, we haven't talked about this, but this this has been definitely circulating around the internet. Um, uh, this is Yama Yuta at the uh, Yuri Save versus um, I can't believe I can't remember the other players' names, but it's a uh, it's a nine Dan, yeah. But um, this this game I still I still don't understand. Like it's yeah. like this is this I've never seen a game like this. Yeah, ever like. And, and also, I, I was going to say, guys, that like, if it wasn't caught on video, you you might think that it was just a you know a transmission error in the Kifu. But, yeah. but everything was actually recorded. Like they played the moves on the board. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. And so, so yeah. And what's happened here is that Black is actually in the upper right is actually alive. Yeah. All he needs to do is is yeah. extend, play at yeah. the one two point on the yeah. on the on the right yeah. on the right hand side. Yeah. Um, and it's alive. And yeah, the uh, Yama would have but, lost. So yeah, so no, so then what happened is a Yam yeah, so at that green spot, all black needs to do is play at that green spot. Yeah. Now a Yama not only so if it's a Yam, if it's White's turn, White obviously has to play one more move to kill that group. Yeah. So Black missed that he could save the group. Yeah. And so Black didn't play there. But then White didn't White didn't play there either. Yeah. No, what this 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 is a thing, Kaza. It the problem didn't happen, didn't happen there. It was just so bizarre that the problem happened like much earlier, like maybe somewhere around around here, because they were fighting this code. So when White Atari here, um, you know, Black finished off the code, and then White just captured, which is weird, because White could actually play here. Uh, White could yeah. actually play here. That's the right move for for White. That would kill this group. Okay, hundred percent. But why didn't do that? So why actually took it? Um, why actually took this? Which is the wrong move to make, because this this means that Black can now live. Um, yes, that's right. Yeah. So Black just needs to play at T yeah. eighteen. And this this and doesn't work because um, when White yes. comes in, White yeah, because actually, yeah, because yeah, because this yeah, Black still has an extra liberty at Q yeah. sixteen. So yeah. the the Q sixteen liberty makes all the difference there. Yeah. So, for, for but the thing reason, is, black, yeah, black doesn't play there, but then white doesn't play there either. So this is this is bizarre. So yeah, so, they just ignore it, they, yeah. and they actually ignore it for the entire rest of the game. No, there's there's no rest of the game. I think they start counting or something. No, no, they no they keep. Oh, they keep playing. Yeah. yeah. No, they see they played all those moves like a dozen moves or something. Yeah. And and then, this is where they finish the game and they go yeah. to county. They they just they still at the very end did not realize that the black group could live. Yeah, so which is bizarre. And I think I've the ne- commentator. I've never seen. I've never seen that. I've never seen that before. And it's just. Yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. Like a Yama Yuta is obviously you know strongest player yeah. in Japan. Yeah. Like how how does this happen? Like yeah. it's just. I'm I'm still I still can't believe it. Yeah. And it was recorded as well. Yeah, it was recorded. And I, the, the commentator was Shinji Takao, uh, Takao Shinji, and he was like in his thirty years. In his thirty-year career commentating on ga- on 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 games, he has never seen this happen. So this is quite a bizarre thing for for it to happen. Uh, but anyway, so that's the uh, Yama's well bad move that was never picked up. Well, so. yeah, that, 
yeah, it's that was bad. it was bad moves by both players. Yeah, yeah, doubly bad. Uh, yeah, so that was bad moves of the year, and then we have a pretty barren nominate nomination. Well, actually, list. no, the, the um, I have put more. I have edited this since. I'm, yeah, you must have a. You must have. You, maybe if you need to clear your your cache or something like that. Right. Um. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Can Can you try clicking on on my link or or trying it in a different browser? All right, so let, let's just go there. Um, no, nope. it's still not there. So let me let me try it in a different browser, okay? So see if we can see what's happening. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know how Reddit works in this case, but uh, that's a that's some pretty. No, it's still not showing on 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 uh, on on firefox so yeah ooh, mate ooh. 30 38 episodes of this podcast and we still can't figure things out <laughs> mate i suspect it's because um there's some saving issues on your end but mate do you do you want me to share my screen uh yes please do oh wait actually no wait actually so no you know what i just refreshed it and and my edits are all gone yeah well uh gaza uh, maybe yeah. The 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 notepad thing, notepad thing. Do you have it in your thing? But anyway, we'll, we'll right. look at well, the No, we okay. So we we also had um. Okay, so we also had so move of the year. Yeah. So, I I do remember what I what I did. All right. Um, so move of the year. I'm I'm you you put in this nomination a a zoo. Yeah. Central Hospital Cup final game one. I yeah. don't know what movie you're talking about. I think we 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 talked about this um in the in the in the in the podcast already. So basically, it's uh Yuno Asami versus uh Fujisawa Arena. So yeah, so White's just kind of noticed some kind of issue with Black Shape, and White's found the right move to exploit it. Look at this move. Right nice. inside Black's territory and. But Black Black's completely collapsed after this, so um, resigned. We we did not we not resigned, but uh, yeah, it was it was it was just crazy. Look look at um how, um, uh, you know, Asami exploited this. Look at this move. And that's how she kind of started the whole sequence, crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um. So. Yeah. I. Oh, nice, nice. I did have so I did have another uh, nominee for movie of the year, and that was um. It wasn't actually a pro game, but it was in a pro qualifier, and it was. Eric Yoda, yeah, um, against I think Remy Campagni or I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it was in the North American Pro Qualifier, and he it, he played out a broken ladder. Right, yeah, I remember that um, one. Yeah. yeah, and and he ended up like it was actually the right move as well. Um, right, and it's you know, and it's one of those moves that the AI, you know, it just doesn't see because of the horizon, and it, it's just incredible. Yeah. Um, and we, we will put a key for that, you know, yeah. again, before the, the polls. Um, another category which I, I created, but I'll have to create again, is uh, Controversy of the Year. Controversy so of the Year, yes. Yeah, so slightly different to um, Disappointment of the Year in that they these are more controversial. Yeah. So that that's where we're going to put the Lu Ruji cheating incident. Now, did you want to um, explain what clarify what that is because some people probably don't even know yeah so i mean it's 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 it was reported for a couple of days in in china and that's how i picked it up in chinese media i do believe it happened in the changchi cup which is a huge domestic tournament in china sponsored by the same sponsor as in cup uh so they rerun this tournament and because obviously it's COVID, so they decided to have it do do this tournament in a to the prelims, to the qualifiers for this tournament, in a in a, a decentralized way. So meaning that they don't get everybody to come in the same place. Uh, it's kind of obvious because uh, of the COVID. And what they decided to do was they they try to get uh, other pros or other players to act as the monitor. monitor. Uh, so they so they would literally go and watch this pleasant play and they would play online and, and this is meant to be one other person that's monitoring them and what's happened was that uh, a lot of the, the people who did the monitoring didn't actually do their job like they just they, maybe they were friends with the person uh, or, or whatever it is they actually didn't do their job properly they they either wasn't even there to monitor or they were just 
not doing not doing anything. And what was picked up was that there was Liu Liu Rijie was the first one to be picked up. He he decided to use some AI during the games that was played in Fox. And I'm not sh- exactly sure what's happened, but he might be picked up by the Fox program. So the Fox program was kind of monitoring what programs are used in the background, and that got picked up. Um, that he's using something like Catago or something. I, I, I actually don't know the full story. I don't think because it's not really that well reported. But that's not the only problem with this. Uh, it was it was that two or three other players also got picked up for the same problems, and also the people that were meant to be monitoring them were also uh, reprimanded uh, for the same issue. So, so let's just call it that the Changchi Cup organization the prelim was a total disaster um, it just proves that you know with ai now it's just cheating is just way too way too way too way too easy and if you don't have the proper measures in place you just can't run tournaments you just can't run prelims um so yeah so that was very disappointing but it just uh just human nature i guess yeah people want to cheat oh well yes um so yeah, so I believe that's the first actual case of um, a professional getting caught cheating in an official professional Tony, game. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, we have had two cases of professionals getting suspended. So Kim Yun Ji, like I said, was suspended for cheating, but that was in an unofficial online yeah. competition. Although yeah. I believe it was for mu- it had prize money yeah. involved. Mm. So still quite serious, but um, it wasn't an official professional game. Yeah, and Do Do Yun Kyo was suspended. Um, hmm. She she was suspended last year. She came back this year. Yep, uh, for cheating um, just in some random games on Fox. Hmm. Um, but obviously by that point they they decided that any sort of cheating by a professional is, you know, not you know it it puts the organization in a bad light. So you get suspended. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I think this is the first case in an official professional game. Although I, I, I should say that considering the, the way that this was set up, they, I don't think they should have been given official status, these games. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, it's just, I don't think that that sort of setup is acceptable. Yeah. Just um, shambles. Yeah. yeah. Other, other controversies that we had was the, uh, was the already mentioned Nongshim Cup game between Miyu Ting and Shin Jin So. Yep. Where so what happened there was um, Miu Ting um, got into Byoyomi and then tried to make a move just before his time ran out, mm. and the the move didn't register and he lost on time. Yeah, and he claimed that um, he tried to make the move that he did make the move yep. before the time ran out. Yep, and um, there was a big controversy initially. He was deemed to have lost on time. Yep, but then. Um, they they changed the um, decision, yeah, and determined that they would replay the game mm. the next day. Yeah, uh, in the end, meeting did lose the game, but um, mm. like he lost the replay. Yeah, but yeah, there there was a there there is precedent for this because um, in, I think two seasons earlier, Park Jun Wan um, had a similar incident where he tried to make a move but yep. it didn't register. Yeah. Um, and in that case, they replayed the game as mm. well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this one, it was definitely a little bit controversial because initially, you know, it was ruled as a loss for me, yeah. but then it got changed. Yeah. Um, and Gaza, the, there's a very good suggestion in the in the, in the the chat about uh, Tojashi versus Kang Dong Yun, the Foco game. Uh, that should be listed as one of the game of the years for sure that actually is nominated as one of the oh game of the year well we actually nominated that as controversy of the year <laughs> right. okay wow well. um we Let's nominated so i nominated that as control as one of the, for controversy of the year because of the rules dispute yeah um because you know at the end it didn't seem like kang dong yun or tor jackshi actually knew what the result was no, yeah. And um, I think Torj actually even admitted as much that he didn't know yeah. what the result was. Um, yeah. In the end, um, it it was finally discovered that under Korean rules, which is the rules that they were used, it was a draw. Yep. Yeah. And so 
in that case, when when a game is ruled a draw, they try and replay the game on the same day. Yeah. In the Shinjin So uh, Miyu Ting case, that didn't happen because the the ruling didn't wasn't the final ruling wasn't made until either the next day mm. or very 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 late in the day. So they just didn't have the time to do it. Yeah. But in this case, if if it can be a vo- like if it can be done, they try and replay the game on the next day so that you know the scheduling doesn't get messed up. Mm. So they they replayed the game, but they only had the sixty second Byoyomi yeah. left, and Kang Dong Yoon ended up winning that. But yeah, yeah, it was it was it was quite interesting because many people, including you know pros, thought that Kang Dong Yoon won the first game. Mm. Um, it turned out that a lot of pros didn't know the rules. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, yeah, and um, yeah. So, and and obviously the final, uh, the the other nom- nominee. I'm not sure if I had four or five. I can only recall four now. But yeah, but definitely uh, for controversy of the year, we have to talk about the recent Yang Ding Jin saga. Yeah, uh, which we covered, you know, in depth in the last podcast. But basically. Yeah. Yang Dingjin um, is accusing Li Junhao of cheating, and you mm. know to make it even more controversial, it seems that many um, of Yang Dingjin's fellow pros are yeah. in agreement with yeah. him. Yeah. Um. And yeah, just a very, very bizarre and mm. also mysterious yeah. saga because I think for many of us, we we just can't really comprehend what the what the pros are seeing. Yeah. Um. Like, like what what they're seeing that that make them seem so certain yeah. in these accusations, yeah. um, which are which are very serious accusations, obviously, to accuse yeah. someone of of cheating. Mm. Um, and also, you know, there's there's been no no evidence or outline as to how they think mm. Li Junhao is cheating. Yeah, uh, Li Junhao himself hasn't made any public comments. No. Um, so yeah, but yeah, like this is this is definitely the biggest, the biggest cheating scandal in the his like since the AI mm. era, um, and it's yeah we still haven't there still doesn't seem to be a resolution yet, but yeah, obviously a huge controversy this year. Huge controversy. Now, guys, while while we're on on this controversy, a news just in is that Yang Dingxin has been banned from playing for six months. Now this is with exceptions. He's actually allowed to play in the LG Cup final, but everything else gone for Yang Dingxin. Um, okay, is yeah. that official news? Yeah, that's official. That's official news on the official channels. Now the other piece of news is that uh, Yang Dingxin has already apologized to Li Chuanhao, uh, and also that um, yeah, all of the all of the other players that have you know liked Yang, Ding, Yang Dingxin's post uh, commented. Uh, you know they have been apparently just warned, but it's not, it's not. Um, they have not been banned as far as I know. But uh, so Yang Dingxin's ban will start from the twenty sixth of uh, December, and it will be going for six months. So Yang Dingxin has nothing to do except prepare for the LG Cup final. So right, so he's going to miss maybe a round or two of Jar League. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Probably, probably missed a, more missed the postseason of the Jar League. Uh, <laughs> no, okay, yeah, that's a that's a that's a big development. Yeah, thanks for yeah. finding that. Yeah, it was actually it's actually posted on, uh, Paduk, but I'm just reading the the Chinese news, the source. Um, and yeah, Yang Dingxin basically said he's uh he's 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 uh deeply sorry for all the people that he's impacted, and especially to Yi Shen Hao, he's uh, expressing his uh, sincere apologies. That's what it's saying. Yeah, so oh well. I guess that's that. Uh yeah. Right. Any, any other any other controversies, Gaza? Um maybe we'll get some other nominations, but I, I don't recall any other ones. Yeah. Oh, of course the the Tojashi versus Kang one, that would be one of them. Yes, yes. So yeah, I already mentioned that one, yeah. yeah. Um, what about what about Byung Sang Yeo slapping his face? Because uh, Well, we actually I made up a new another category called um humorous. Humorous. Um, Moments of the year, so I've yeah. got three. Not I've got three nominees. Maybe yeah. other people can can find some yeah. other ones, but yeah. I'll show you. Um, I'll just send you a link here yeah. that you might you might want to post. 
Yeah. Um, so this is the first nominee, and this is in a pair go exhibition game. Yeah. Um, this is between. It was a game between. Um, so one pair was Japan Cho Chi Hoon and Yoshihara Yukari. Right. Um, yeah. And the other pair was um, Korea Cho Hun Hyun and uh, Park Ji Yoon. Yeah. And and you can see here this is this is the expression of the Japanese team after a notably bad <laughs> a, move. A, a blunder was made. By by Yoshihara Yukari. Yeah. 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 And um in pair in pair go, you're not meant to um communicate with each other. Yeah. Um, like with your partners. Yeah. So but obviously like when a move this bad, like yeah. <laughs> sometimes you just can't hide your emotions. Yeah. I mean, okay. I, you know how in, you know how in bridge they actually put a barrier between the, the players so they can't see each other. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they should do that. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay, so so the next um, now now these moments are more like they're humorous moments, but they are at the expense of pros. Yeah. We're basically laughing at professionals here. Yeah. Um, but this is my my second nominee nomination. This was in a young tournament. Yeah. Um. So this was a youth tournament. There were three each. There were four countries: Japan, Korea, China, and Taiwan. And each country had two top players and a top women's player. Yeah. And they would just play a match. Yeah. With each other, like a round robin. Mm. And um, you know, in the end, um, Japan they lost all three of their matches against China, against Korea, and against um, Taiwan. Yeah. And so they came fourth out of four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, so this is the, um, if you can, if you can enlarge the picture, it's. I see if I can um, do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, this is the before and after um, of yeah. the Japanese team. Yeah. Um, so the top picture is be them before the tournament and the yeah. bottom picture, it's, it's them after the tournament. So yeah. like the next day, <laughs> yeah. um, with their fourth place, um, A finish, um, and the five uh, million one award. Yeah. 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 Obviously quite disappointed, but yeah. it's yeah. when you look at the two pictures, it's, I don't know. I, I find it humorous. Yeah. And then, yeah, the final, the final nominee that I, that I've, nominated for humorous moment of the year is of course Bjorn Sangil yeah. slapping himself um yeah. in in the Samsung Cup semi final. Yeah. Um against Choi Jong. Yeah. No, I I, I, was, I was tempted to create a new category called Best Slap of the Year. So you know how you know how do you have Kurje, Bjorn Sangil, and I do believe Sin Jin So and uh, Shin Min Jun, Jun, Jun? Jun has slapped himself. Shin Jin So doesn't really slap himself. He, he just himself, does a light tap on the face. He lightly taps his face <laughs> whenever he um, yeah. realizes he's made a mistake. Yeah. Um, it's. I would have to say Shin Jin So would not be a, a front runner. Yeah, no, slap of the I, year. Yeah, so um, Shin, Shin Min Jun has, has given himself some good slaps. Ko Jay has um, has some good ones. Ko Jay will slap himself even when he's making good moves. Yeah, but um. I, I, this, we'll, we'll, we will post a video of Bjorn Sangil's, um, yeah, again, yeah. uh, slapping it, um, before the polls again, but yeah. you should try and look, seek, seek it out yourself. It's, yeah. it's just absolutely, in, it's, 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 yeah. it's almost scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think we mentioned this before, but, uh, Mok, Mok Jin Sok, the national team coach for Korea, I spoke to him. Um, you know, on on the phone uh, after that incident, asking if everything's okay, and, mm -hmm. yeah, and and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, he he yeah, he's just uh, lost <laughs> lost control for a little bit. And he's already apologized to Cho Jong, whatever. So yeah, crazy stuff. Uh, yeah, Gaza. So that's that's a wrap for the uh, nomination, the categories they wanted to yes. do for this year. Well, and, yeah, uh, if if people do have any nominations, we will try and get some final ones, and then we'll we'll hopefully put out some polls in the first week of, of 2023 yeah we'll put out some polls um and then we'll we'll I, i'm thinking about posting a a post that collects all the polls as well so it's easy to click on them um yeah, yeah I'll, I, I just plan to run the polls for maybe seven days the maximum allowed on reddit and see how we go from there okay 
so Gaza uh, after the the uh, what awards nominate nominations nominees let's uh, move on to some actual news from this week and this this is one that's I, I I was very I was very pleased about which is uh, Taiwan's first foray into the Korean Baduk League crazy yes stuff. so yeah. the Korean Baduk League we mentioned this it, it started I believe two days ago yeah. as of this recording yeah and um yes the first the first match was team taiwan yeah um against team celtrion so yeah. this is a historic match because it's the first time that a team outside korea yep is participating in the baduk league yep um and not only that but team taiwan ended up winning yeah um, crazy stuff um so i've got the i've got the results here so basically the korean league this year the format is that four there will be four games and if those games happens to be 2-2 then they plays an additional game called the ace match which of course is the match decider and i think yes yeah and uh so yeah but uh, uh now i it should i should also point out that um uh, a format in the it's similar similar to the jar league in the baduk league mm. it's not simply the each each player has like a seed in the team so you have the top the top player the second player mm. the third player down to the fifth player yep uh, but the in in the um matchups it's not always the top player playing the top player of the other team yeah um they the each team actually um selects you know which player is going to be playing on each board um like which board each of their players will play on so yeah um they might put their top player on board four mm. for instance yep and the other team so they they you don't you don't know who you're going to be up against until yep. until each team has already m- made their choices yeah um so sometimes you can get favorable matchups um yeah but yeah, it, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting aspect. Um, I mm. guess it it's it avoids you know players always playing the same opponents every time. Mm. Um, but yeah, in this case, anyway, um, in the the first match, Team Taiwan they they ended up winning three of the first four uh, games. Yeah. So there was no game five yeah. played. Yeah. Now, now basically in the in the Chinese league, they have this main player concept. So. Basically, the main player, if you if you win, you, you might just win more points for your team because in a in a situation, but uh, in the Chinese league, you only you only put out four players, so it's four versus four, and if there's a draw like two two, then the team whose main player have won actually gains one extra point, so they win two points. Uh, if you win three one or four zero, you get uh, three points. Uh, yeah, so basically, the main player can actually give you one extra point in the case of a draw. So it's actually quite important. And in, in the Korea League, it's not like that. It's like five versus five before before this season. So you could well, have... it is it is similar. If you win three one or four nil, you still get the full max three points. Right. But in this in in this case, if it's two all, instead of it being decided by hmm. whoever was on the main player board, they play in the yeah. Korean League. They play a fifth game. Yeah. Yeah. And and basically this this season they've changed it so that instead of just five versus five, it's four versus four and then an ace match and the thing about this ace match in the career league is that the ace match the player from the ace match can be actually one of the f- uh players that have played in the uh, in the first four games uh, so you could have sinjin so playing the four versus four and then sinjin so again in the ace match so but uh each each player each player can only be an ace player for six times per season so you can't just keep spamming sinjin so as the ace player all the time so yeah so, so but but because they've added this ace player uh, concept in the career league uh, it's more likely that you get a strong player playing a strong player uh, whereas in, in the past it was just random five versus five it could the order could be could be anything yeah so yes yeah uh, yeah so yeah and it, it is true that taiwan have put out an all-star team for the for taiwan needs uh so they basically put out their best players um, yes, they've got um, Zhu Ha Hong, yeah. Wang Wan Jun, Lin mm. Jun Yan, and Lai Jun Fu. Yeah. Uh, you could arguably say they're the four strongest players in Taiwan at the moment. Yeah. 
and they just put them all out and they didn't even have to go to the ace match you know, presumably if they think they have a good chance of winning they might put out Xu Ao Hong in the ace ace match uh, spot yes. but they didn't even need 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 that um so yeah and it, it was it was impressive wins Wang Wan Jun beat uh, Kim Yong Hoon yeah uh who's, who's had a very strong year made the semi final of the um Samsung Cup yeah and Lin Junyan beat the legend uh Choi Cho Han yeah so um, yeah, they're, they're, they're no pushovers. Um, yeah. uh, Zhu Hao Hong did, probably should have, like, he was probably expected to win against Yun Chan He, um, yeah. and he did. Mm. And then, and Sim Jaek got the sole win for Team Celtrion against Lai Jun Fu. Yeah. It's, it's interesting looking at this Team Celtrion because the, the previous two years, um, Celtrion had completely different players. That was Shin Jin So's team. Yeah. Um, but the the thing is, in the Korean League, um, a team can only keep a player for a certain number of seasons. They can't hold a player indefinitely. Mm. Um, so uh, Shin Jin So had to actually be released by Celtrion um, and go into the draft mm. this year. Yeah. Obviously, he got selected <laughs> by the first uh, by the first team in the draft. Yeah. Um, so he's act- he actually plays for Team Kicks now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Team Celtrion start with a loss, and yeah, Team Taiwan um, start the historic um, Korean Baduk League campaign with a win. Yeah, it's 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 quite it's quite cra- crazy actually because you would you would expect that Wang Yuan Jun to be a bit of an underdog versus Kim Ming Hyun given how highly oh, ranked yeah, Kim is. But this is the game between Wang Yuanjun and Kim Ming Hyun. Wang Wang is black, Kim is white. So this this is very crazy what AI is suggesting. Like um, I, I probably need like a pro to kind of explain this to me. But by this point, uh, I do believe that white uh, Kim have kind of broken into black's territory and kind of just destroy all of this territory almost. Um, so if if white just uh, uh, come kind of manage to come out with this group alive completely alive then and and white might be ahead on territory also given that white looks like has won a co over here so that's a lot of territory here um but not not by a lot but definitely white would be winning so it's a it's a, this this is now down to like judgment uh, how how well you can judge the position and and you can see in the graph here uh white just made one wrong move and dropped a lot now basically it's okay what's happening in the game so white needs to save this dragon here so white kind of just Instead of um, it's just Atari here, okay. So that that looks pretty pretty normal. But look at what AI is actually suggesting. AI suggests playing here, uh, which is very weird. Which is very weird. Um, and then okay, and then White maybe can just strengthen his shape, and then take, and then Black has to connect. And now you can see here, but White still has to connect. So White connects the Atari and then Atari. So now Black is Atariing this group. But the trick, but the, but the idea was, why kind of make this uh, Atari here, so that why can get this extra Atari, and then just let Black capture these, you know, just leave it and just kind of run. So this is what AI is suggesting. Mm-hmm. That, so now why can can escape? But for human player, I I find it hard to think about. Oh, maybe I should just, you know, connect here, and then let Black capture all of this, so I can escape. You know, I would probably think about. Just why? Uh, yeah, maybe I can escape like this. But uh, Wang Yunjun played really nicely because he realized that even if White captures this, um, that's that's still hard to make an eye. So he just destroys this and then play here, which is the I think the right move. Yeah, and notice how White still doesn't have an eye here. If White takes Black and just Atari, so yeah, so now White actually cannot escape. This is just crazy stuff. Um, oh, that's good. Yeah, good reading. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, look, it, it's quite. So these, I mean, yeah, these like, are fast. These are fast games. By yeah, the it's way. fast games as well. So um, and then yeah, and then white black went to push through, and yeah, it turns and then and then the game ended here. Uh, that's when white resigned, but um, yeah, but apparently Wang Yunjun can just push and cut here, and yeah, that's just too too hard for white to deal with. So yeah, and yeah, good win. Yeah. And this this group has no no eyes. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. So Kim Min, Kim Min Hyun's done 
really, really, uh, no, uh, Wang Yanjun's done really nicely for Team Taiwan. I think we can credit this win to uh, his win over Kim Yong Hyun here. Really, really yep. nice. Really yeah, nice and win. yeah, like 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 we said, they won three one. So yeah. all of these wins were important. If 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 yeah. if if one of these games were that Korea lost, yeah, that that Siltrion lost was reversed. They would have had to play a game five. Yeah, crazy stuff. So. Um, now there's been one other round in the um, Korean league. I don't think we'll go over every round, every podcast. But yeah. there's only been two rounds. Yeah. And it's been a while since we've had Korean League. So I do want to mention the um, the other round that happened uh, yesterday. Yeah. Um, it's not really, that, it's still round one. It's just two other teams playing. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah the, second, the second match. So that was uh, Team Posco Chemicals. Yep. Against uh, Korea Price Information. I think mm. they're two long-time sponsors yeah. in the Baduk League. Right. And that one did actually go to um, a game five. Yeah. So, uh, Posco Chemical is headed by Won Song Jin, yeah. the the veteran, still good enough to not only be in the Baduk League but actually be team captain. Yeah. And career price information is captained by Kang Dong Yoon. Now yeah. it turned out that Won Song Jin and Kang Dong Yoon actually both were placed on board too, so they ended up playing each other. Yeah. Already. In in the match. Yeah. Won Song Jin won that one. Yeah. However. Um, they, um, only one other player on his team won. Yeah. So, um, who, who did they, they actually uh, very they, had, they had Han Woo Jin. Han Woo Jin, Han Woo Jin lost Cho Han Seong. To Cho Han, to the veteran Cho Han Seong. Yep. And um, Han Kang lost. Yu, Kang Yu Take. Yeah. He's another sort of veteran. He lost to Han Song Ju. Yeah. But Park Min Q, he beat uh, Kang Sung Min. Yeah. So that meant that it was two apiece, and they ended up having the ace match. And and uh, unsurprisingly, Won Sung Jin um, and Kang Dong Yoon were selected for the ace match. Yeah. So they had a rematch within. The so they actually game. had a rematch, yeah. but this time Kang Dong Yoon was victorious by one and a half points. Yeah. So, um, and the, I believe the rematch, they, they don't even have main time. They just have Joyomi. Yeah, it's meant to be a super fast match. Yeah, A super fast match. And to be honest, you had to favor Kang Dong Yoon because of his Power. performances in, in fast competitions this year. Yeah. Such as the YK Construction Cup and the Yongseong. Yeah. And um, yeah, that, that shone through and, and ended up securing the win for his team. Yeah. Now, I, I do say only two matches have been played. There's actually... There's actually a third match um, being played as we speak. Crazy stuff. Um, and that, so I, I I wouldn't be upset if people ended up going to the, the Baduk TV live stream. Yeah. To watch that, um, because quite I'm, I'm I'm literally at the stream now, and um, Shinjin So is playing, and he's actually behind. Yeah. According to AI. Nice. And um, so that's interesting. Um, remember, he's he's on a, he's currently on a twenty nine game win streak. Yeah. Um. So. It's. Yeah, it's going to be interesting if he loses this one. He, he's 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 playing. A, I think he's playing someone outside the top twenty at least. So. Yeah. Um. Yes. Curious to see how that goes, but I guess we'll find out. Um. Yeah, in a couple of hours, <laughs> yeah, in a few hours. Um, but yeah, that's that's the Korean league. Yeah. Um, and then we have we're gonna move on to staying in oh, Korea. Before we move on, yeah, yeah, someone actually there was someone in the comments that mentioned um achievement of the year, uh, and a nomination. Uh, Ker J bombing out of every major tournament should be an achievement of the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, I think I, this would be harsh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I know of one 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 player that's often made fun of in uh, in the Chinese media. He, he's known, he's a, he's a famous basketball player, but he managed to score in a very crucial match for China. He managed to score only one point. And and the joke was that it's actually really hard to score just one point in basketball. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah. A, bit, a bit of that feel to it. Um, so Gaza, shall we, let's now move on to the Korean awards, which have been, we have, I, I believe, just has been just you know for uh, awarded 
uh, yesterday. Uh, and yeah. surprise, surprise, MVP goes to uh, Shinjin. Oh, Shinjin so won the MVP award. Yeah. But he only got 55.4 of the votes. I don't know what the other people were voting on. Uh, at least 27.7 of them voted for Cho Jong, uh, who came second. Yeah, so, uh, so he got a... he got twice as many votes as Choi Jong. Yeah. Um maybe it's it's one of maybe it's one of those where you know you vote for a first place and a second place and a third place and right. so it's not possible to get 100% of the votes. I don't right, know. Right, right, right. I'm not yeah, I'm not really sure what was happening. Yeah, about. but obviously no surprise there that um he won yeah. player MVP. I'm not sure how many years in a row that is. It's at least 3 years in a row. Right, yeah. So he's been atop the Korean uh what rating for 36 months so i wouldn't be surprised yeah. if it's like three or four years and uh we got the best senior player is yu chang hyuk now it's yeah. very funny because for these players they have seem to have very little very not many not very many votes he's, he's got 15 votes apparently followed by blacky kim seung jun i believe he's got i mean like seven votes or something and then uh, the best women player choi jong on 20 votes kim yun ji on two votes so yeah yeah no surprise again no surprise. Choi Jong winning that yeah but then uh, but then the next, next one is quite funny there's best women rookie Kim Eun Ji on 20 votes and the person who came second got zero votes I don't know how you can have someone on zero votes and still come second but because maybe there's on, there, was, there was there was only two nominees maybe I'm not sure but uh, yeah <laughs> that's 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 no new no surprise there uh, best men with rookie so Han Woo Jin got 19 votes and then Kim something uh, I don't know his name he's got 4 votes so yeah uh, okay the men player with the most wins Shin Jin So at 79 women player with the most wins 94 for Kim Yoon Ji wait wait okay so so um, the the runner up with um, mm. 0 votes in the woman rookie that's Kim Hyo Young yeah so she won a she won a women's uh, rookies tournament at the beginning of the year, right? Um, and she's also a captain in one of the um, Jar League teams, right? Um, okay, the um, the runner up for man rookie that's Kim Byung-seo. Yep, who won the um the you know the 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 gifted tournament right yeah yeah um yeah so uh what was that guy's name um ha Ch- the ha chan suk yeah gifted tournament yeah and then he also they had that at the 10th anniversary tournament and he won that as well very nice um yeah so so yeah so most wins um, for male players, Shin Jin So 79. And you were about to say Kim Yoon Ji had the most wins for women? Yeah, she's she's got 94 wins and 55 losses. Now, 94 happens to be a new Korean record for pro wins in a year. I believe the last record was set by Mok Jin Sok in the... Uh, about 15 years ago. Yeah, he, he yes, got 92 so- wins, yeah. Yeah, so actually, Kim Yoon Ji has actually won more than that, and I've mentioned this. I've mentioned um, in previous episodes of the podcast that she's won over a hundred games right. this year. So people may be confused. Why does it say she's only won ninety four? Yeah. So there's a, there's a there's a there's another league in Korea. It's not the Baduk League or the Women's Baduk League. It's just another domestic league, but it's not it's it doesn't want it's not one that you have to qualify for. You can just um, sign up. Yeah, you can just sign up and enter it and. It's basically each division mm. has um, like 15 or so players and you just play single round robin. So you're guaranteed to play 14 games. Yeah. And they have like two or three seasons of this league every year. Right. And like you move up or down divisions depending on, you know, your previous, like the previous season. So if you're just entering, you can you don't have to enter at the first season. You can enter at any season, and if you enter, you enter at the lowest division. Right. And you just move up or down depending on how you went. Right. Um. But you're always guaranteed fourteen, you know, fourteen games. Yep. Now, those games are worth, for promotion purposes, those games are worth twenty five percent of the of the open right. of the other tournaments. Yep. 
And obviously, in in terms of these awards here for most wins, mm. the, these these leagues don't count. That that domestic league doesn't count. Yeah, I guess because you know anyone's you you always guarantee like in the other ones, you know if you if you lose a game, you're you're out of the tournament most yeah. of the time. Mm. Where in these ones, you if you lose, you can just keep playing. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I, I guess I guess yeah for for whatever reason they are official professional games but they're not counted in the awards. Yeah. And I guess they're not counted for the records. So so Kim so yeah so Kim Yoon Ji is now officially set the record for most wins in a calendar year with um with mm. the ninety fourth yeah win um still yeah yeah so quite 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 an achievement yeah um, so yeah yeah that's it. It's insane and pretty crazy that she almost got to like she 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 ends she currently has 118 wins if you include that other league. Mm. But oh, to wow. get but to get to to get to 94, you know, competitive like wins in that count is yeah just insane. Yeah. Um, and then we have the uh, highest win rate for men at Sinjin So. At eighty four point nine five percent, so that's a his high is like mm-hmm. above eighty eight percent. So yeah, it's, well, it's yeah, that really might high. yeah, it's it's interesting that they have these awards now because Shinjin So is currently playing a game, <laughs> so uh, the year and the year hasn't ended. Yeah, so this so, this potentially could go a bit up or, or down, but uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm ju- I've just checked the game, and the game is is close to even now. So yeah, well, it says five points in it for me, but um, yeah. Could be anything. Oh no, it says one and a half for me. So All right. oh yeah, it's one point one now. Okay, uh, yeah. Okay. And then <laughs> the the player with the best win rate for uh, women women player is Choi Jong at seventy four point two nine percent. Yep, yep, yeah. Th- those are crazy numbers. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and the consecutive wins uh, for men uh, eighteen. That's the most for women. Choi Jong at twenty. That's crazy. Yeah, and the eighteen is from Shin Jin So. Mm. So yeah, again. Oh. In- incredible incredible um, yeah um and then we got popularity contest i don't know what this one is maybe I'm, i haven't translated it very well but yeah it's i don't think that's an official award yeah okay um Cho Jong um, 64. yeah yeah the only sorry. yeah the yeah. only other awards they had mm. yeah so Choi Jong won the popularity award yeah um, they have there's um there was a skill there's a skill development award Oh yeah, or or skills or technical improvement award. Yes, yeah, maybe most improved, and that was Lee Won Young. Yep, um, nineteen votes. Yeah, he got promoted to nine down this year. Very nice. Um, they had awards for best um amateur players, male and female. Yep. Um, so I think that was Kim Jong Sun, um, male amateur and. Lee Lee Ruby or something for yeah. women's amateur. I've got I've got no yeah. idea. Sorry, I, I don't yeah. I don't know yeah. either of those players. And then there was another award yep. for a chi- for I think just contributions. Yeah. Um, and that was Seol Hoon, uh, which, which which I believe is uh, like a member of parliament. Um, but I don't know. Yes, he's a member of parliament. Yes. And then it's high some some kind of corporation. I don't know what's the name. Yeah, is. the the Hay the Hay Sung Group. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So these are the things people that got awards or corporations that got awards. Um, yeah, but of course, Sin Jin So and Choi Jong were the big winners, and you can kind of see what the next gen for Korea is in terms of the women because it's clearly Kim Yoon Ji. She's um she's mm-hmm. she's also popping up. So yep, yeah, that's the Korean awards. And of course Kim Yoon Ji has broken the record um for most wins. Um and she she basically uh yeah. So well done to her. Now Gaza, let's let's finish off this, this week's news with a bit of a lighter lighter side of the news. Um so this person you see here, she's a pro. Um Curiously, when you look at the Chinese ranking uh, of the, I believe, 200 or so players that are on the active list, she's, she's, she's near the bottom, right? So, I mean, not maybe not rock bottom, but definitely bottom 10, as, if I remember correctly, last time I checked. Uh, not, not that women get to play a lot of games in China this year. Um, for example, Yu Jing, I believe she's only played four official games this year, which is a disaster. This is Yu Jing, uh, so that's crazy. 
Um, so this this is another player. Her name is Zhan Ying, which is very interesting because it literally means fighting hawk. So her surname is Zhan, and um, her her name is given name is Ying, which means a uh, hawk. So obviously it looks this sounds like more like a boy's name, and people did ask her if it actually is her real name, but it turns out to be real. And the reason um, her, her her family gave her that name was because her father was <coughs> very fond of the <coughs> Chinese um, <coughs> apologies of the Chinese you know, uh, the air force the airplane the fighters the fight fighter planes fighter jets uh, so they named her daughter after the, those fighter jets so um, but. She made it news this week in in China because um not because of a prowess in in Weiji but because of a stream. So she streams on Bilibili, and this is her advertisement for her Christmas stream. And apparently in that one she's gained uh, a thousand high, uh, paid followers, and these these paid followers, as far as I, I know, are called captains. She's got a thousand captains, I believe. <coughs> And what these captains have to do is that they have to pay 198 renminbi to follow her per month. So if you times a thousand by 198, that's that's a lot. So so in that one hey, night, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So in that one night, she's made quite a bit of quite a bit of dough. Uh, and 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 you know, I don't know how many of them will will, will you know be recurring subscriptions, but supposedly every month we get. Um, to continue to follow her, you have to pay 198. So that's a quite high. That's like know, 40 bucks in Australia. Yeah, uh, per month. That's that's a lot to follow someone. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. So she's she she was actually um she there was a little bit of news about her even outside of the Wei Chi circle. Uh so yeah, so quite a big achievement. I do believe there was some mention that she's her streams got more views than Koji in the Wei Chi category. And in the on the Christmas night stream, she's she's actually made quite a lot. So, uh, interesting stuff. I'm not sure if things are gonna bring necessarily gonna bring more fans to 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 Wei Chi, but I I've seen her stream a couple of times. Like she does talk about Wei Chi, and she would play games with fans. Um, yeah. So, just maybe another avenue to to bring in more fans. But we we mm -hmm. shall see. Um, okay. So that's the all the news I wanted to cover, Gaza. Is there anything else I, you wanted to mention? Yes, I wanted to get back to Kim Yun Ji. Kim Yun Ji, yeah. Yeah, so there's another update in the Dr. G. Um, oh, yes. That's the right. Dr. G tournament. So yeah. um, in the past two weeks, I've been a little bit confused as to how the Dr. G tournament, sort of the league has finishes. Now, oh. we've known for a while that, um, you know, we've known for a week now that... Um, Choi Jong and Kim Chae Young finished top two. Yeah. So they will definitely be playing in the final. And when we go to the calendar, we will show you when the, those games will happen. Mm. But the the question that I was unsure about is who 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 finished, you know, third and fourth. Yeah. Now, because I was under so initially I was under the impression that the top four players mm. get automatic spots in next year's league. Mm. And the way that this league finished was two players finished on five wins and then four players finished on four wins. Yep. So that means that there were four players battling out for what I assume to be two spots. All right. In next year's league. Now, one of those players, Park Ji, Ji Yon, has retired. Yep. Um, effective as of the end of this tournament. So she wasn't in the running for one of those spots. But the other three players were. Mm. Now, what seems to have happened, what I seem to have been wrong about is the number of guaranteed spots. It seems like it's only the top three, actually, right. Right. that um, get spots in next year's league. And um, I, was con I was confused about this because I'm pretty sure that in some of the streams, they... They, they would have tables, you know, before the, they would have tables showing, you know, the league so far and they would have, they would have uh, symbols. They would have, they would have sort of writing 
next to some of the positions. Now the writing's in Korean, so I didn't, I don't, I can't read Korean that well. Yeah. But they would they would have you know certain symbols next to the top two spots, so I just assumed that meant that they were indicating those would go to the final, and then they had symbols next to spots three and four, yeah. so I assumed that meant that third and fourth would get seeded for next season. Mm. But it seems like it's only actually um, third place along with the top two. Right. So obviously I've I've, I've made a mistake in translation, but. In the end, it seems like it was Hyo So Hyun, Oh Yoo Jin, and Kim Yoon Ji all fighting out for just one spot, not two spots. Right. And that's exactly the same scenario that happened in the open Korea's Strongest League. Right. Between Park Chun Hwan, Lee Chang Suk, and Kang Dong Yoon. Right. Um, now, now actually, uh, actually, no. Actually, in that case, I believe. Um, no, in that case, I believe they were fighting for two spots. Right. And yep. Kang Dong Yoon, Kang Dong Yoon ended up being the unlucky loser. Right. In that yep. um, whereas in this case, they were fighting for one spot. Now, in this case, um, what they do is two two of the players are drawn randomly to play off, and then the winner of that game plays the third player. Yep. So the, the first two players, and the first two players were Hyo So Hyun and Kim Yoon Ji. So those players would have to win two games yep. to, to get the seed, yep. right? Mm. Whereas Oh Yoo Jin, the third player, she only had to play the winner yep. of Hyo So Hyun and Kim Yoon Ji. So Oh Yoo Jin would only have to win one game. Now, in the first game, Kim Yoon Ji beat Hyo So Hyun. So that meant that Hyo So Hyun was, um, ended up, she was placed fifth. Mm. Park ji was officially placed sixth. Yeah. Um, but then, so then Kim yoon ji she won that game, but she still had to play Oh Yoo-jin, and that game happened today. Yeah. And she, uh, Kim yoon ji lost. Ah, uh, yeah. So Oh Yoo-jin won, which meant Kim yoon ji ended up finishing fourth. Yeah. And Oh Yoo-jin ended up finishing third. So Oh Yoo-jin um, gets a guaranteed spot in next season. Yeah. And it's actually, it was actually the three seeds this year. Yeah. Um, they all kept their spots. Nice. So, so Oh Yoo Jin, Kim Chae Young, and Choi Jong, they finished the top, they finished top three last in the, in the last season. In that case, Kim Chae Young was third. Um, so there, there's been a bit of a permutation, but it's the same three that finished mm. in the top three this, this year. Yeah. So, so unlucky we, for Kim Yoon Ji. She just, unlucky for Kim Yoon Ji, but that doesn't mean she she can't participate. She just needs to quali- re qualify again. Re qualify again, and and mm. you know, like chances are you you bet on her to to make it back. But of course, it's uh, quite a few but, games. Yeah, know. it's still possible to lose. I mean, you would have expected Cho Shong Ah to mm. have qualified for this year's tournament. Yeah. Um, but didn't happen. But she ended up not. Yeah. So anything's possible in you know eight. Eight, uh, seven or eight months when they'll have to do the qualifiers again. Yeah, yeah, crazy. But stuff. yeah, so, but yeah, I think I think that is it for Kim Yoon Ji in 2022. So I think we can say that her win count for the calendar year will finish on 94. Um, 94. Yeah, very nice. Well done. Um, so yeah, and uh, okay, Gaza. So is there nothing else to mention? We can um, to the one, one, one thing. Um, yeah. I I have been checking out the Baduk League game, and it looks like Shinjin So has in fact reversed the game and is now winning. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, water is wet. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's he's only up by three and a half points, but. He seems to have more time than it's it's Fisher increment with twenty seconds, mm. and I think they start with ten minutes. I'm not sure about that. They might I think start I think more. it's like uh, I believe it's forty minutes and twenty minutes. Uh, forty minutes for one only one game's longer. Forty minutes. The other games are twenty minutes. Um, that's I think that's 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 how it works. Uh, yeah. But okay. Well, in any case, he has fifteen. He still has fifteen minutes. Yeah. His opponent has. One minute. Yeah. And it's 20, 20 seconds increment. 20 second increments, yes. So pretty fast, yeah. Um, yeah, but um, anyway, let's let's go to the calendar. Let's look at the calendar. So we've got the Dr. G 
or career a, a women's career women's strongest uh, yes yeah, so today. so it's it's a five it's a best of five mm. um obviously like with all the other tournaments if mm. if if someone wins three games before game five before all the games are played they just won't play yeah so that's the career the strongest games. women's final game uh, one and two so game yeah tomorrow. game next yeah week. game one will happen when on tuesday on tuesday and then thursday and friday next week would be two and game two and three yes and, and then tuesday. um yeah. if necessary um the following tuesday and wednesday yeah we'll have games four and five yeah yes um what's also of course the korea league will continue over the weekend um and also on the monday we have a sin jin so versus Lee Jit Hoon in the Maxim Cup. Yes, Maxim Cup. That's the invitational. Yep, yeah, this year's turned into an invitation, I believe, or something like that. Uh, I, it's all. I think it's always been an invitational, but in this case, I think they. Right. I think it's it's literally they've literally just selected the top thirty-two nine dance. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. So perhaps not strictly invitational. Well, right. no, not the top thirty-two. It's like the top twenty-seven or something, and they have wild cards. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh wow. Um, yeah. But yeah, Shin Jin So will be playing against Lee Ji Hyun, and Lee Ji Hyun won the Maxim Cup, I believe, uh, three years ago. Yep. And he was runner-up two years ago. So yeah. Um, he has won this tournament more recently than Shin Jin So. So yeah. So we shall see. And um, yeah. Uh, it's a fast game, so uh, like he also Lee Ji Hyun actually also beat Shin Jin So in the YK Construction Cup. Right. That was the very that was the very first game of, of the tournament. Right. Yeah. Um, and that's a this is a similarly fast tournament. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So changes are definitely not guaranteed. Uh, not guaranteed. Yeah. Not guaranteed. Um, no. yeah, it seems like this this kind of time control may be just a little bit short. Mm. Um, for for him to completely dominate like he does in the one hour games. Yeah. And another very interesting one is happening next week is going to happen on Tuesday to Thursday. Uh, maybe it's going to be a best of three between Kim Yunji and Nakamura Sumire. So, um, so oh, yes, it. yes. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's a very interesting one. Um, mm. So Kim Yunji is basically Korea's next women's star. Um, and Nakamura Samira is Japan's next women's star. Both of yeah. them have already established themselves as, mm. as you know, the the next the next players. Mm. Um, but also, still, both are ex- extremely young. I think Samira still might only be thirteen. Yeah. Um, Kim Yunji is is fifteen. Yeah, but um, yeah, I th- I don't think these are official games. Um, I think it's just an exhibition, but yeah. it still should be fun, and I, I, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people watching it. Mm. Uh, I'll I, I'll be looking forward to it. I might not be able to watch it though because I might be I'm a little busy next week, but yeah, um, yeah. Hopefully, I can follow I can follow along if, if I can. Yeah, just yeah, um... yeah. Other than that, it's a pretty quiet week next week, but. In Jan- January is not going to be a quiet month. We will be having soon the Kisei final. Kisei final, yep. Um, of course, between Ichiriki Ryo and Shibano Toromaru. Um, yeah. I know a lot of people are going to be looking forward to that. Um, game one and two. Games one and two will be in January. Mm. And um, I, I do believe in, in, at the end of January... LG Cup final, Yang Jin versus Ding Hao. Game one will be actually happen on the thirtieth of January. So yeah. Yes. So um yeah. So um that's that's the wrap. Of course, I'm also looking forward to uh, Team Taiwan's uh, second round league game on the Sunday. But uh, that's that's uh, we may be um, doing our podcast just before then. So. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. I I, I do want to say we probably won't be able to do the podcast next friday yeah. because i'm going um i have a family uh outing yep yeah. uh, but we we still will be having a podcast as soon as possible yeah um and we're still going to be doing one a week yeah average average <laughs> average one a week yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so uh, with that in mind i guess i'll just update you on the korean league <laughs> obviously you might be also watching 
Sinjin Soyo's opponent just lost on time. He tried to do a tap time Suji, but it was just maybe a couple of seconds too late. Um, he's already uh, okay. Yes, I just see that the director has gone over to him and um, informed him that he's lost. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, for what it's worth, um, he Kim. was losing. Yeah, he was losing by, by half a point according to the AI. So, yeah. Um, not half a point but five points yeah yeah by about five points um that's that's actually a strange one because i don't think they they don't they don't press clocks yeah on in the korean league they have a recorder yeah who counts down the time for them yeah um so you don't have to press a clock so it's it's a little bit it's i guess it's hard to tell when when you've lost on time if if you make the move really close yeah yeah to the time control yeah. But in any case, um, yeah, breaking news, Shinjin So won his um, his opening game of the Korean League. I think his team is now 2-1 up. Yep. They've still, board four is still yet to finish. Yep. Um, but that's 30, 30 wins in a row across three seasons for Shinjin So in the yep. Korean League. Well, let's, let's see. Let's see how far this will continue. Yes. Uh, with and, that... That's a good end. That's a good end of the year for Shinjin So, and it's a it's a good end of the year for this podcast. I think. Yeah, and also a good end to this particular episode of the podcast, Gaza. Yes, hopefully, we 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 definitely plan to be back in twenty twenty three. Yeah. Um, all, all time time permitting, uh, yeah. resource permitting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it seems like it seems like we're able to do this once a week. So. It's worked out so far. Let's see how long we can keep going. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So with that, let's just say goodbye to the viewers. Goodbye, and hope and we hope to see you in 2023. Yeah, and have a 